for me, my reflection has taken me uh, in a place that started about four or five years ago. I don't remember exactly when it was, um, but I happened upon a book that was going around my family uh, that was written by a fellow by the name of Don Miguel Ruiz, and it was called The Four Agreements, uh, in Hebrew, Arba Haskamot. It was going around so prolifer pr uh, proliferally in my family that we had two copies, one in Hebrew and one in English, because some of my kids, they say, I can't read a, he a book in English, give it to me in Hebrew. So we had it in Hebrew as well. Um, it's a terribly written book in English. The sentences are poorly put together. Um, and I think it was probably done purposefully because the message that the book brought, it was for me uh, so profound that it was, I, I had to look beyond the uh, sentence structure in order to get the actual meaning from the book. And it was a reflection and it's a way to look at life that I have been utilizing religiously for the last number of years. And I want to tell you that for me, it has been um, quite helpful, both physically and emotionally, to do that. And I'm going to share it with you now very shortly, because it's a great book uh, with regards to the illustrations that he gives and so on. But I'm going to give you the four pieces that he offers. And I'm going to lay it down for you and say, whatever you might take from this, it may serve to be a reflection that might help uh, you uh, in the future as it helped, has helped me uh, ever since I got wind of it. Ruiz says the first thing is, be careful of your words. He's probably quoting the Mishnah, Chachamim Hizaharu Badivrechem. Please be careful about what you say. Um, it makes a lot of sense that we need to watch what words come out of our mouths. Um, they have power. They have influence. They can be very uh, strong. And Chaim uh, Vamavit, Biyad Halashon, that life and death even comes into the uh, power of the words that we speak. So friends, Chachamim Hizaharu B'divrechem, we need to be careful about what we say. Secondly, don't make assumptions. The, the joke is, you know what happens when you assume is you make an ass of you and me. I mean, I think that's great, but it really is that we shouldn't make assumptions because all assumptions, and you, those of you who have had me in class know that I say that all translations are interpretations. I would like to go one step further and say that all assumptions our interpretations. That is to say that unless it's about ourselves, we really don't know what's going on in the minds or the hearts of another person. So we have to be careful and not well, I'm proud assume. of how you went about it. So that's the second yes, thing. I think part of the growth of it. I assume that Giska knew that her, uh, that, uh, her uh, uh, mute was on. Um, but I shouldn't do that because it is one of those things that we, we shouldn't make assumptions. Third, don't take things personally. Wow. If we can go through life and not take things personally because we assume that the words that are being spoken are just being spoken by that person, that would also make a difference. Not to take things personally. It has such potential. So there's a story about a guy who got onto the subway with his three children. They were climbing the walls. They were going crazy. And there was a fellow who was on the subway. And he used to take that subway every day. And the reason that he did is because he liked the quiet that was provided by that particular subway car. And these kids were going crazy. And the father was just standing there and he wasn't doing anything. And the man turned to him and he said, can't you control your children? And the man said, you know, you're right. I should be able to control my children. But we're coming from the hospital and they just said goodbye to their mother. 
who just died from cancer. And the person who made this, uh, told the story said, I never assumed anything ever again. That's extreme. But if we can work on not making assumptions, I think that we can give people the benefit of the doubt. Have dan the kolachad bechavzichut. Not taking things personally, it's critical. And what's the fourth one? The fourth one is one that I learned from my late father um, many, many years ago, but it didn't get crystallized until I read it uh, here as a uh, final uh, statement with regards to the four agreements with ourselves. And that is, do the best you can. And there's a machloket. Is do the best you can a, uh, a way of getting people off the hook and having them not try hard? And I don't believe that it is. Because I believe that if we know what our potential is, and if we know what our direction is, and if we know where our goals are, then for us to do the best we can can actually bring us from a point of goodness to a point of greatness. But it's by being honest with ourselves and knowing who we are and knowing that who we are is about our analysis of ourselves and that when we watch what we say and we don't make assumptions and we don't take things personally, and by the way, I have a machloket with uh, Don Miguel Ruiz who says don't take, take things personally, don't even take uh, positive comments personally because positive comments that are made are also about the person making the comments and not about you. That one, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, not so clear on that one, but I have to try because both personal comments, uh, uh, taking things personally, both positively and negatively are from the same family. And that is that it really is about the person saying it if not, much more than it's about the person to whom it's being said. And so if we could take these four things, I took them and I ran with them a number of years ago and I keep referring back to them. And when something bothers me or when something troubles me or when I think something hurts me, I say, wait a minute, what were my four agreements? And I review them. And very often it leaves me feeling that I can go on with a smile on my face and a, connect, a commitment to move forward and to move forward positively. I wish everyone to take part or all of these four agreements and run with them and play with them and see if they resonate. Uh, they resonated with me and that's why I felt comfortable sharing them with you.